Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add dependency files to your Walkway Simulator. For this example, we're going to interface the LCD 16x2 I2C to the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now, the I2C stands for inter Integrated Circuit and is also known as Two Wired Interface. Basically, for the I2C protocol, you have a master that communicates with as many slaves um, attached to your microcontroller. So each I2C device must have a unique address. The SDA stands for serial data. It enables you to transfer data through your I2C pin. Why the SCL is the serial clock which carries the clock signal. We're going to create three files. One is the main.py and the other two files are the pico underscore i2c underscore lcd.py and the lcd underscore api.py. These two files are the dependency files. So in our main file, we're going to be calling this file, why this file calls this file. For more details of the codes for these two files, you can refer to the GitHub link that will be shared in the video below. Now sign into your Walkway simulator and uh, go to my projects, create a new project. So you go on MicroPython on Raspberry Pi Pico. So first we're going to connect our Raspberry Pi Pico to our LCD. So I'd like you to add LCD 16 times 2. So connect your ground to any of the grounds. Uh, let's do this way. Then your VCC to BBUS. Next, we're going to connect the SDA pin to pin one and the SCL pin, we're going to connect it to GP pin 2. All right, so now that our circuit is connected, we're going to go to the main code. So in the main code, So now we're going to create two, the two dependency files and add it to our project. To do that, just simply click on the drop down arrow there and create new file. So for this new file, we're going to add the first one, lcd underscore api dot py. Then click on create. So next, I'd like you to go to the link. Um, at the bottom of this video and uh, open the GitHub where you find your um, files for the LCD I2C. So we're going to open the LCD underscore API. Then I'd like you to copy all these codes. Make sure you copy everything come correctly. Then go back to your LCD API in your walkway and paste. Okay, once you do that, you click save and it's saved. So we're going to add the next dependency file. Uh, i like it to name it as uh, pico underscore i2c underscore lcd dot py. And you click on create. Again, you go back to the link uh, that will be shown in the video and get the other file. So I'd like you to copy everything here. And go back to your, your file. So paste it and click on save. Now bear in mind, these two files are standard library files that have been provided by the manufacturers of the LCD uh, I2C. All right. So having done that, we go back to our main code. So now we're going to be using these two, two files, which are the dependency files. 
in our code, in our main code. So first and foremost, you need to import a uh, machine. So machine from machine, uh, import pin. We need pin and we need the I to C. Next, uh, we need to import sleep. So from time, import sleep. This is just to help us create some delays in our code. Then from LCD uh, API, so that's one of the dependency files. Import LCD API. Okay. Next, from pico underscore i to c underscore lcd import i to c lcd so bear in mind these two files are our dependency files oh sorry this will be underscore okay next uh, we need to configure our sda pin so sda um, it's got to pin zero and uh, SCL pin is a pin one. Okay. Next, we need to configure our I two C. Uh, so I two C is equal to I two C zero. A is go to SDA, define our SDA, then our SCL, we also defined it. Then we need to declare the frequency. Okay, so this is our standard configuration you need to do first. Um, so the next thing is we are going to scan the address of the LCD. So to do that, we just simply print uh, print of, uh, i to c dot scan. Okay. So let's save this and we run our code. Okay. So everything is okay. The address of your LCD will be displayed on your shell. Okay. All right. So now that we know the address of our um, LCD, we can modify our codes using the following codes and we print I welcome and main menu on the LCD. So the high welcome is going to be on line one. Remember, we're using a 16 by 2. Um, LCD. So the line one is going to print hi welcome, while line two is going to print the main menu. So if I run save and run my code, uh, this is what you get. Stop. All right. So you can see hi welcome main menu. So you can go ahead to explore the uh, Pico I2C LCD uh, dependency file. Um, so try to explore and play around with some of the uh, functions. So um, you want to display off, a lot of functions are there. You want to move things around. Then if you want to uh, use characters, uh, you can. So go ahead and explore and you can also check, check on all uh, online for some other tutorials. Thank you. Thank <music> you.